at present attached with the PSB library and uh, he is very famous and reputed uh, in the field of library information science, basically the research ethic part. He has lots of credential in his publication arena. So may I request Patoda to start your classes. So schedule time allotted for you at 12.30 to 1.30. And then one hour lunch break. Mm -hmm. so after lunch uh, session, we'll start on 2.30 and onwards. Thank you, Patoda. Mm -hmm. Now floor is in your hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dear scholars, please lend me your ears. Uh, in my presentation, I have an expectation. Expectation is that let the presentation be not a one way traffic, let it be a two way communication. That means from me and from you too. Then it will be a fruitful session. Otherwise, I shall uh, narrate and I shall read the slides and it will go what your heads, at least for few, uh, that is not the case. So at any point, you have the liberty to interrupt me. I'm repeating, at any point, you have the liberty to interrupt me, to ask me uh, questions or something like that, so that uh, I can uh, try to narrate. And it's a teaching learning process. So it's not only one way, so that I can also learn from you too, because you are the scholars. In my presentation, there are uh, uh, segments of this. Hello. If someone is doing this, uh, I join Kulu Kuni 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 have you any uh, understanding about research? Please uh, come forward. It is not a, uh, hello, yes, please, please, welcome.
New knowledge and obsolete knowledge eradication. Okay. So finding a solution to a problem, sir. Finding a solution to a problem. Please sit down. Yes, sir. Can, finding uh, a solution to problem. Okay, I am noted. And another person says finding a solution to a problem. But if, the, if there is knowledge, existing body of knowledge is there, I am throwing this paper. It is falling on the table. So it's a long existing knowledge. Apple falls from the tree. That's the existing knowledge, no? That is not new knowledge. But as soon as, who focused, who invented it? Newton. As soon as Newton gave a theory to the existing body of knowledge, not new knowledge, madam. That is, that is essentially a component, but also at the same time, focus to the existing body of knowledge is also the research, is it not? That is also research. Anything else? Okay. Again, search, whatever. That is too much uh, generalized uh, type of thing. Research. How you research? How you will research? How you research? It's come on. Yes, it's a scientific way. Scientific. Really? There is some information about certain knowledge. We are trying to find that there is some truth to that, and we will try to uh, cover that truth, and we will use, uh, or we will uh, in our field, in this case, we have something, something where we search from a uh, different type of literature survey, we found some truth, and we then uh, investigate the truth. Uh, uh, and, and find I have an objection, no? Blue false. Lufos is not the case. It is a gap. There is gap in the knowledge. Why you search, you, you find a word literature search, no? What is it? What is literature search? Searching existing body of knowledge. Searching existing body of knowledge. That knowledge is scattered in different mediums. The mediums in uh, our profession, we uh, term the mediums as uh, micro document, macro document, or web resources. For example, my, macro, micro document means latest publication, nascent pub, publication, up-to-date publication in the form of journal articles, in the form of conference proceedings, in the form of thesis. That has not been reproduced or shown anywhere else. That is micro document, okay? At the same time, macro document is book. And book is not so nascent or up-to-date in that sense. Why? After submission a manuscript to the publisher, and its publication in the form of book, there is time lag. I am repeating, after submission, your manuscript for publication, and it's come out as a book, there is some time lag. Uh, the publisher used to call it pipeline, because before your submission, there were more submissions prior to you. So that will be published, and next, it will move in the pipeline slowly, and your publication will come. So knowledge is a static, not a static thing. It's a, it's a dynamic one. So in between, in between your submission of a manuscript and publication, more knowledge added to the universe of knowledge. I'm coining a new word, universe of knowledge. In Bengali, Sarbojanin Vishwajanin Ek Akash Gan. So that's why documents are micro at the same time macro. And nowadays, there is a concept called web resources or e-resources. That means anything in the cloud, you can search through this, Computer with the help of certain search engines. Is it not? Okay. Then. So, primary object of literature search is to find out what has already been discovered, how much work on this particular area has been covered, and where from we have to start. Because please remember that. Time is more and more precious and important for a scholar. After your, your organic or inorganic or organic, okay. 
after doing certain period of research, you find that what you are doing have been published in a, art, a journal article, suppose published by Roulette or something else, Elsevier. And what will be your uh, position? Life is gone. So one of the major purpose of literature such is to find not the loopholes, to find the gaps. Wherefrom you will start. That is the basic uh, purpose of literature search. And another purpose is to find or to know the methodology. Hello, are you sleeping? Hello, I'm talking to you. You, you, you. Are you sleeping? So uh, please look, I'm, I, I have a uh, request to you. If anybody feels bored, if anybody are doing some other works, you are welcome. Because no attendance is there. It's your liberty. You can come, join. Even if, you, even if it is attendance required, please ask me, I shall give you. So if you feel bored or not enjoyable, then you are welcome. Huh? But please be attentive when you are in the class. What I was talking about? Yeah. Methodology. So after literature review, you can find the methodology for the same problem. What your procedures followed, which kind of method, which kind of methodology for, to solve that or to address that problem. That is one thing. To avoid duplication of efforts, that is the more, more important. At the same time, to pay homage to your procedures who have already done some work on your uh, on your related topic or field topic. In our subject, we used to call it Akuba pattern. That means broader terms, narrower terms, related terms, equivalent terms. A term has, in your, in your research, a term has broader terms, equi equivalent terms, related terms, as well as narrower terms. If, if we uh, consult a uh, dictionary, advanced dictionary, then you'll find these kinds of things. So to know that thing, to limit your problem, Real literature is important also to limit your problem because uh, please suggest a topic. Anybody? Hello. Hello. Please come. Suggest a topic of research. Climate. Climate change in agriculture. That is not a title because climate change in agriculture throughout the ages, from the days of Adam and Eva to right now. Will your research include the days of Adam and Ivo to uh, in this up to this moment? So that is too fast. So you have to narrow, you have to limit or delimit your research. And this limitation or delimitation in two concepts: one in terms of time frame, and another in terms of geographical coverage. Time frame and geographical coverage. So please repeat your title. Climate change, change in agriculture in Eastern India, in West Bengal, from 2000, suppose yes. 2000 uh, to 2020, maybe. So you are limiting or delimiting your thesis by these two connotations. One is the geographical coverage, maybe because geography is important. Climate change throughout the globe. No, not it is throughout the globe, not it is throughout the ages. It is within a particular component or part of a uh, country or uh, uh, state. So this is this is important. So review of literature helps us to limit or delimit your research. I am pointing just three, four uh, points. Uh, why review of literature? Uh, I think now it's clear that it is not from, uh, find lacunas or drawbacks. Obviously, obviously, when you submit a thesis, there must be some antithesis. When you submit, consider a thesis, you have to take into account the antithesis. Then only, then only synthesis is possible. Okay. So, <clears throat> so in my uh, slide, it will be shared to you. There are two, three uh, definitions. I'm not. Uh, reading the definition line by line. Uh, actually, uh, for conducting research, it is a systematic approach towards purposeful investigation. The approach must be systematic. And the system develops through the research methods. 
and the research method varies from discipline to discipline, from subject to subject, even topic to topic in a pairing. And purposeful, that means you must have some research. You must have some research. research. Objectives. Mm -hmm. You must have some research objectives. Somebody narrates in the form of objectives. Somebody told it research problem. And in social science hypothesis. Huh? And hypothesis are again of three types, positive hypothesis, negative hypothesis, and null hypothesis. So you, through your research, you test those hypotheses in the concluding part of your thesis. Have you any idea what, are the, uh, what should be the chapter of uh, thesis? Chapter thesis. Hello? Huh? It should mention the what is the research gap and scope. Hello. Which? Hello, please. Data. Hello, data. Huh? Data. See, he has coined uh, word data. So, what is data? Primary data, secondary data. You, you are classifying data, no? tertiary data. No? Okay. Data is dropped. So, now you are coined word uh, information. So, then what is the difference between data and information? When data is processed, then data is processed. Raw information is the data. Then what is information? It is a processed data, is a interpretation. Huh? Data have some data. Now, I know, you attended my last class, no? Uh, many of them are, have not attended. That's why I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not asking answers from you. Uh, hello. So, please come on. You're trying to say something. Please repeat so that others can hear and they can uh, uh, collaborate and share. Then you are using the word information. Raw facts is it? Not raw information. The information is the upper hierarchy of data. If we consider uh, knowledge pyramid, if we consider knowledge pyramid, can you remember your school days? In the school days, we used to study, I think it is in class nine syllabus, the ecological pyramid. Hmm, what is it? Uh, so, producer, consumer, food chain. I am talking about ecological pyramid. At the base, there is a the grass, then grass super, then frog, it is a then snake, primary, and primary, secondary tertiary. It's a biotic and abiotic uh, factors mingled together. It is ecological pyramid, sir. Okay. So, which contains uh, both ecosystem. Okay. So, he has given a definition of ecosystem. No, I am not a science man, so I, I don't know the quote unquote definition. I'm trying to. Uh, <laughs> I am trying to uh, uh, say that there is a concept called ecological pyramid huh? and there is a balance in it. Similarly, uh, we can consider educational pyramid. Huh? For example, at the base is Mathomi, then 12, then graduation, then post-graduation, and at the top, you, the lucky fellow, the research scholars. That is ecological pyramid, educational pyramid, no? If Mathomi 10 lakhs, then HS, seven lakh, then you, the lucky 200. I mean, all together in West Bengal, say 5,000 5, or 4,000. So that is educational pyramid. And there is necessity of balance in this pyramid. There is necessity in, in balance in this pyramid. If pass out in Madhumik is too high and HS is too high, those are accommodating nowadays through distance. Distance education. 
because our education system fails to accommodate all these all the students if all the students in a particular college turn up in a particular day there will be no phase for students to stand forget about classes is it not so that is being happened so similarly in research we deal with ultimately what is what is the objective of research to contribute to the existing knowledge to the your body of knowledge or what you have invented or discovered or focused or uh, focus new light on the existing body of knowledge to the universe of knowledge to the universe of knowledge sarvajanin vishojanin ba akash gane you are trying to contribute your thing so to generate knowledge we have to collect data we have to process data we have to further process data and we have to develop knowledge and ultimately object is wisdom no a man a person who is a resource person who can give solution to problems not the uh, solution to all the problems eh? all over the globe including uh, russia and <laughs> fight no that is not the case in your area in your area no in your area you can call it mac macro area micro area whatever maybe in your area and and your knowledge is not your personal thing your knowledge is not your personal thing it's 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 social and one of the major purpose of research is to generalize your findings to generalize your findings so that it can be generally generally be applied not only this particular problem you get give a solution to a problem and that is applicable to general to all other related problems to generalize your, your things so and your knowledge must come to public public domain because you are doing research by poor taxpayers money poor taxpayers fund that's why nowadays a movement started it is called open source movement and most of the journals it is hard copy at the same times online e resource in the form and many government agencies including csir that journals are available in soft copy you can get free of cost you can get obviously there are some business and other things i should not go through those details now now you have to publish your things that is clear so what so far we have what we have learned what is research what are the basic basic ingredients of research what are the basic ingredients of research and then you have to be research output ultimate object is to 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 uh, some do thesis and get degrees and get job that is one of the major output i mean major objective of a scholar that is one thing and for that you have to publish you have to publish your findings so and nowadays recently maybe you see have withdrawn this otherwise a few few months or few uh, weeks ago it was mandatory to publish at least two papers before submitting your this is that's why you are you have to know the publish publishing policy publishing ethics and media of publication and where you will target what will be the destination of your uh, publication that has to be uh, you have to decide that one. have you uh, gone through any uh, peer reviewed technical journals how many of you please say what is it or what what journal you have studied or consulted or have you published any article uh, yeah. that is not a journal no? yes, Maximum. Uh, 
uh, it is mainly slight here with then they send any uh, any kind of uh, changes need then we do the necessary things and then resend the uh, article to the editor and then to the you are talking about the process of submission and its publication. You are talking about the traditional process. Okay. Nowadays, the process of submission and its review and post review comments, etc., have been changed. I shall come in two, three words later on. But what you observed from that journey? Observed means have you noticed that there is frequency of publication is there? Yes, quarterly and he, he, he has coined a new word, impact factor. Have you any idea what is impact factor? Yes, what is it? It is based on the citations. It is based on... Based on, yes, please come on, based on. Sir, it is based, actually, yeah, actually, sir, impact factor, uh, it will be uh, uh, calculated by agency it is mainly based on how the work is and how the work was cited by many people how many people it has been cited and what is the quality of the work based on that they will just arrive how many papers has been published and how many citation it has been reached based on that everything they will be calculating the impact factors actually it's a ratio the ratio is a by b a means total number of publication and b means number of total citation and B, A divided by B, B means number of citations you have received during yes. the last two years. Yes, sir. So, impact factor is a ratio. With... Hello, what I'm talking about? What, what was my last word? It's a ratio. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a ratio. Okay. So, he, he said that before submitting his paper, he will con consider impact factor. Yes, sir. Okay, then you told that uh, the process of uh, how submitting. But let me uh, share my experience in this regard. Actually, everybody who used to publish articles, journal articles. But first of all, sending before sending any article to any publishing house, please read three, four issues of that journal. Determine your position in respect to that already published articles, whether your standard fits with them, where your area of specialization fits with them, that's the one thing. So without reading few issues, at least few issues of a particular journal, I should say the target journal, I'm using the word the target journal, please read few issues of it before submission and determine your position, that's number one thing. Number two, never ever get upset if your article is turned off, rejected. Repeating, never ever get upset if your article is rejected. Even, I'm not taking the name, Nobel laureate's article has also been rejected in one point of time by some journals. Clear, writing is an habit. Writing is a habit. Please develop this habit. Please don't think that I'm Gandhi. But it's, I'm telling it from my experience. So it's a habit. So please uh, develop this. Habit. And submission, before submission, I'm suggesting that you should read few issues of that journal. At the same time, many articles at the beginning of a new volume. I'm repeating at the beginning of a new volume. Actually, issues that is defined between issues and volumes. Somebody was talking about that if four issues are published of a journal, that is the quarterly issue. Combining the four issues turned a volume. Okay, so at the beginning of the new volume, that means first issue of a new volume. Can you get Sir, it? Sir, the slides are changing. Hello. The slides are not changing. Slides? No, I'm not slide. I'm, I'm not uh, talking with the slides. I am uh, giving to some kind of extent, you can say. That's why uh, slide will not follow, but uh, our organizer will share the slides. Uh, uh, I think uh, Dr. Nima is there. 
I think they will share it with you. So uh, uh, please, at your leisure, at your time, at ease, go through the slides and uh, talk about it. And my email will be also there. So if you have any questions, then you are welcome. You also know. Ah, at the beginning of a new volume, first issue of a new volume, or in every issues, guides to the contributors or guides to the author is given. For example, or sometimes it's written as notes to the contributor. So this journal, at the end of the journal, notes to the contributor, they used to give. Some journal gives it at the beginning, after the editorial board's name, they give it at the beginning. Okay, so before submission, you should carefully read this. Because publishing houses may have its own in-house style. I'm repeating own in-house style. For example, Vishwavarati has a publishing department called Gontan Vibhag. It says its own in-house style. That is Gontan Podicha. Lekhok Podicha. So all the publication of the authors and its critique during this period has been included at the end. This is the unique name of Vishwavarati publication. It's Vishwavarati publica uh, Vishwa publication style, house style. So publication may have its own house style and they certainly follow certain guidelines for citation. Repeating, they obviously follow certain guidelines for citation. There are different internationally recognized citation style. For example, APA style, MLA style, Chicago manual, so on and so forth. And even, even one can deviate or take the liberty of partial or total variation from the existing styles. It is not necessary that you have to all the times you have to follow the styles. Many journals, for example, these journals, it is an uh, CSI publication, this journal has its own style. Style is nothing but collecting of information, information in respect of journal name. I'm repeating information in respect of journal name, information in respect of your article name, author, page, volume, and number. These six information. Repeating journal name, authors, article name, author, publishers, volume and number, pages. Pages, generally inclusive pages. In these, there are two kinds of page dem uh, demonstration. For example, 252P, that means you are referring from one page to 252 pages. 252P means you are referring from page 1 to 252. But as soon as you put P dot 252, that means you are referring a particular page number that is 252th page. In these journals, you have to inclusive page means P12 to hyphen 21. That means this article is available in the page from the page. We have to turn to one. While writing articles, please, please remember that economy of words is an important connotation. Economy of words. I have pain, I have time, so I'm writing essays after essays. No, economy of words is important. Even, even, because we are talking about review of literature. In review of literature, in reputed journals, even you need not, they need not bother to give the details, name, and others of the previous contributors of which, for whom literature you are consulting. Just give for this study on bibliometrics, upper script, 12 to 21. That means at the end of the, in the reference, you are just give 12 to 21 means these are the references. You have the documents you have consulted for legal literature. No need to give the details of the literature, the authors, its name, what he has narrated, what he has founded. So much this, so much description is not need to be required. Huh? Noise is coming. No? Yeah. 
এখানকার আমি তো এগোতেই পারছি দুটো স্লাইডই থেকে গেছি Dozia especially from Bengali department or not uh, can follow my uh, presentation because I have to present in English, but many people can follow Bengali. They can ask in Bengali too, because these words, just now what I am uh, said is to some extent technical. So if you, are, you have the liberty to ask and not, nothing to hesitate if you ask in Bengali or in English. ট্রেডিশনাল ফর্ম ইন দা ট্রেডিশনাল ফর্মেট অথার এক্স ইন ইস আর্টিকেল এন টাইটেল ফান্ডিংস in can research in these 20 articles so this the economy words is uh, very much uh, important regarding modern method of submitting the articles to publisher you were talking about that so na jache na oh regarding nowadays every reputed publisher has its own website before submission you have to register yourself in that website there are certain columns two three pages form and you have to fill up it and they will give you have to put your password too okay and obviously they are in the end part of the uh, form you have a column to submission submission you can directly upload your word file or from your computer you can browse the title and put it there as soon as you submit it the article the machine generated su article submission number will be sent to your email the machine generated article submission number will be sent to your mail and after some time you can opening the page you can see what is the position of your article waiting for review such kind of comments generally you can see waiting for review allotted waiting for allotment to reviewers first review received and such such and they can after submitting your article the editor not the editor board a uh, board is separate issue and editor is separate editor will send the article to somebody some resource person who is expert in that domain and one rightly said you can accept reject or ask for modification and according to you have to again comply and submit and resubmit and resubmit so far what i am uh, i have uh, narrated or try to explain if you have any question any query up to this point please come please come forward scroll hote hain bhai ha scroll hote hain na now uh, if it is uh, up to this if it is clear then i may come to your ethical part because i am not talking with uh, following the slides huh? what i what is ethics i am a philosophy student at the last class was on ethics no In the previous session introduction to ethics introduction to philosophy okay
actually so you have learned what is philosophy no <laughs> so so uh, ethics is a branch of philosophy with moral morality as a as central focus or central concern so approach is not on law approach is on on honesty integrity humanity all the human values huh yes and it depends on culture changes with the passage of time what is immoral in indian context maybe not so much unethical in usa context if any beloved of our family expired we try to do the last function quickly but in states they generally keep it to the community hall then they will bury the person in sunday the weekly opti in our concern it may be unethical improper mora mata ke bondho kore phele rakhle pachale this was our concern most unethical but they used to the, do in our in in west bengal we perform durga puja maintaining time schedule uh ashtomir boli 8 30 seconds 8 minute 30 seconds so somebody is watching they used to celebrate durga puja in the weekends they used to celebrate this dol my friends in state celebrating this dol just will celebrate this dol in the forthcoming sunday that doesn't matter that is not unethical or unethical so it depends varies from culture to culture it varies from time to time but what is common throughout the world that is honesty integrity humanity kindness that is common humanity is everywhere you know and the approach is on morality so what are the who are the stakeholders for publication ethic publication ethics first stakeholder is the author author and author seep the two connotations are there first stakeholder is the author second stakeholder is publisher third stakeholder is reviewer who will review the system and everybody have the responsibility to follow ethics otherwise for example you submitted a paper for publication it went to the reviewer he doesn't bother to submit review submission is review within due to stipulated time that is not proper from his part or if he just pass on the data to somebody else that is totally wrong so all the stakeholders relating to publication the author the authorship formation the editor the publisher all have the responsibility and again it totally depends upon a country's culture scholarship's culture academic environment academic honesty otherwise all this will be what we are doing nowadays for publication and it's become a business so if the publishing house does uh, habituated this kind of practice if the scholars will be in the process so responsibility is everybody's responsibility what what is the author's 
ethics. I have already narrated that before submission, you must have gone through the guidelines. You must have gone through the issue so that it fits with your area of research. Paper must be on strong basis, strong theses, strong ideas, strong objectives, strong findings. Because in scientific papers, after introductory part, the second component, what is the full format of a paper? First of all, the title. Title also includes subtitle. Title, colons, then comes subtitle because subtitles classify, narrows down, uh, narrows, narrows down, explains the main title. Then author's name, author or author's name, author's affiliation. That means from which lab, which university, which department the author belongs to. Then comes abstract, generally 250 words. I'm not, uh, it is not mandatory, but generally. General sentence, objectives, methodology, findings, conclusion. These four things should come in the form of abstract. Because only going through the abstract, a scholar will de decide whether he will go through the article or not. Then comes keywords or descriptors. Keywords or descriptors. Again, the key features, key concepts, key ideas in a single word used in your article comes. Then comes introduction. Then objectives or hypotheses or problems. Okay, so these part, the objectives, hypotheses, or problems should clearly be defined in your article. I'm talking basically on uh, science and social science. Literature may be uh, slightly different uh, things or something. So data obtained ethically. Many a times we follow improper means to collect data. You visited a, how we collect data? What are the methods of collecting data? Have you any idea? Survey, questionnaire. Majmaji bolo, not a skill. Questionnaire and interview. A primary data. A group discussion. Anything else? Have you covered almost all things? And another just I am adding to your uh, what you have narrated. That is participant observation. That is must. For example, some people uh, conduct research on uh, folklore, Lok Sanskriti. So not only interview, but you have to know their, their culture, their tradition, their race, their performing, and their the pronunciation and all other things by observing. People wish to study Santal cultures, uh, fun function or festivals or porup, Santal porups, maybe Badna or whatever, maybe. You, you just go and question what is Badna? Questionnaire, please see an answer. Is it possible? No. What days you used to read? No, that is not the method. You have to observe. That is called participant observation. And there is one central concept of participants and observation is you have to become one of them. I'm repeating, you have to become one of them. I'm Babu, I'm a researcher, I'm doing research, so not that. In that case, you will not uh, go to the insight of the things. You have to come from your research scholar follows. So, so, along with your, what, what methods you have followed, I'm adding one, huh? that is participant, participant observation. That is also there. Uh, so, these data, what you gathered by following any method, and please, in this connection, during collection of data, I wish to say another concept, you know, that is called population. That is called? Population. Have you any idea about population? <laughs> Have you any idea about population? Sample? No. There is a there is the, uh, absolutely different population and sample. Sample must represent the 
entire characteristics of population. I'm repeating, sample must represent the entire characteristics of population. Yes, some total of all the things which you cover. And from the population, you have to select samples that must and should represent the, all the characteristics of the entire population. For example, people visit a Santal village and try to collect uh, data, I mean, educational standard of the pupils of that particular village. Then your sample, suppose for example, there are 100 families or 200 pupils of that village, including first generation, second generation, as well as third generation learners. Okay, then you have to, how, whom will, what will be your sample? Your sample will be first generation learners? I mean, up to the age of, say 25, 25 to 30, 25 to 50, and third generation 50 onward. And in both the cases, you have to select male and female. You have to take, for, for example, in the age group one, uh, one to 20, or five to 25, you have to select few people so at the age of 25. You have to select two people at the age of just five. Then it will be a, Representative of the entire population? Is it clear? Is it clear? Otherwise, otherwise uh, uh, your sample will, is not proper. And selection of sample, again, there are some statistical or mathematical techniques of selecting samples. Random methods is there, some methods, is there. many statistical methods are there. I think uh, statistical teacher will take care of it. this. So that, that is important. Now, the data, Obtain must be ethical. That means you just visited one day in a village and uh, collect two, three data. Okay, I got it. Now I can fill the tables, remaining part from my lab or from my table. That is not the case. Because please remember one thing. You are you thinking that you are clever enough. But please remember your examiner, your guide, your supervisor, your reviewer, is not less clever or intelligent than you. Many a times I have, I have experienced, many a time we used to do these kinds of things. Many a times. And obviously there are journals also who can uh, publish these kind of articles by paying money. And at the same time, data must be validity. Adequate validity of data must be there. For example, census data. Now, 2011 census conducted every 10 years, 2001, 2011, 2021. So if you write an article and using census data of 2011, because the demography, population, population ratio, education ratio, and uh, female male education ratio, rural urban ratio, all changes, all the data changes, the 2011 census and 2021 census. So data must be up to date. These are the basic things, still I am uh, repeating, you may know, that while writing your paper, it must be your own writing. And in this connection, I am repeating one thing. While you prepare your thesis, while you consult different kinds of documents, micro, macro, whatever may be, while taking notes from the document, at the first time, takes the note in your own language. Takes the note from the sources, primary, secondary, in your own language. That is more important. Otherwise, you will be caught at the end or before submission through plagiarism. Use own language. This is one suggestion. And second suggestion is, please don't forget to jot down the bibliographical details of the book. Please don't forget to jot down bibliographical details of the documents which you have studied during your notes or during your research. Otherwise, after some time, after a few days, it's my experience too. That when you're submitting the, uh, or writing the, finalizing the thesis, first revision, second revision, what is it? There should be one more reference. What is it? No. 
again you have to go to move the library you have to go through the stacks you have to but at the same time when you write it please immediately after the notes please jot down the bibliographical references in details that is the documentation i told this appropriate documentation essentially accurately made clarity understanding abert this is this is another important part many a time we do we submit a article for publication to a house and obviously they have their time pipeline no? the article is in the pipeline so they are taking time in the meantime you are anxious so you submit the same article to some other publication for uh, other house for publication or maybe same article just change the title same article same data same thing but change the title in submitting another to find oh i got two publication at a, for the same work but don't forget when you will submit it for your job for your something the you have to submit the article in details and there is no time that will be dishonest not dishonest in uh, paper thing but it will hamper your career so while doing literature search please try as far as possible the primary sources you are talking about the primary sources if not possible then you may go the secondary sources many a times what happens uh, one mistake one mistake in a quotation in any article it is used to multiple mistakes it leads to multiple mistakes for example if you quote misquote article after going through your paper i am writing another article i will also misquote the things because i am referring you so one mistake leads to many mistakes be careful about that particularly when you use the quotations after completing after finalizing please check the quotation at least and there must there are multiple authors in an article there may be two three or more authors generally first author is called principal author or corresponding authors to so author and authorship who will give authorship for a collaborative work for any interdisciplinary work that should be cleared between the scholars who will give authorship and who will not who will be the first author or principal author who will not that should be the clear otherwise it may be a issue of conflict uh, if i get chance uh, tomorrow in my tomorrow's presentation i shall try to uh, uh, talk about what are the conflicts but conflicts may arise during the process of publication so that should be clear then ethical misconduct what are those ethical misconducts number one fabric fabrication that is data or result manipulation proper analysis of data you find that the result is not satisfied uh, my expectation was that you will reject the hypothesis negative hypothesis but it is not uh, showing the result is not showing as a negative hypothesis so let the 5b3 3b9 9b12 many a time by the process of back calculation we try to uh, justify our things our expectations but that should should be avoided falsification that is the manipulation of research materials for example you take materials from an unpublished thesis that has not been published yet awarded but not published you take a larger part of your things from that thesis many a time even reputed scholars used to do this kind of things that is strictly falsification without recognizing the contributor without recognizing the scholar i mean your previous scholar your senior scholars you have just captured this thing that is uh, falsification and uh, finally 
uh, it will take a good man huge time to talk about uh, plagiarism uh, obviously it is just using other thing copying other thing without citation long definitions are there i am talking uh, i'm uh, trying to say in nutshell taking others work others critic others theme others ideas even others ideas without recognition is plagiarism and nowadays it is just become mandatory to take a certificate from library that your thesis have been passed through this check and you have only just 10% come because the and there is some software also such as urkund and other things uh, they will check because everything which is available in this cloud they will compare it automatically with the existing what has been what are available in the cloud so the certificate is also necessary and if they generally generate a chart pie chart they generally generate green portion is your contribution blue is you have used quotation or something like that and red is just you have copied without any citation so before copying at the time of doing research at the time of noting be careful otherwise it will be at the final stage it will show some negative result that may puzzle you i am talking i have already discussed about improper authorship violation of general accepted research practice obviously there are some research practices in a country for example you have to conduct this research course work in case of living animals those who are doing research on botany or zoology there there are some fundamental rules regarding the livestock stock on which you are conducting research maybe rat maybe something like that again there are some general fundamental rules regarding you can't kill at the time and i'm doing this as soil liberty to kill no and one thing more important in any kind of research particularly in social science please try to maintain confidentiality that is not in the slide please try to maintain confidentiality you are taking data you are asking questions and you one fine morning in dosor of this of you explain oh he says negative about you and so that should not be because that population that sample on the basis of honesty on the basis of faith has excellent things and you are gossiping on his concept on his ideas on his things that is very 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 important now now i'm coming because time is short now already covered na Hmm. So uh, okay then uh, I shall uh, start tomorrow from here. Eh? If time permits, uh, it's eleven uh, thirty-five. I hope we, uh, if you have any questions, please uh, within two three min minutes we can discuss. And Janik, oh please rejoin your. Uh, session in 230 this is a manager is reminding me uh, so you have to come at 230 if you have any question up to this point you may ask yeah okay